Hey guys, uh, my name is John Forsyth and I'm going to be talking about GoPuff. Sorry, i got to be kind of quiet so I don't wake anyone up. Um, but I've been working with GoPuff for um, off and on for a year or so now. Uh, it's February 3rd, as you can see here at the bottom right of the screen. On the 31st, so that was on Tuesday, four days ago. Um, GoPuff, I got a notification from GoPuff saying they were implementing a new system. I don't know for what locations exactly this is for. I work at Garden Oaks in Houston, Texas. Um, I think they're trying this out in different locations or maybe it's nationwide, I'm not sure. But the notification only said one thing and it said something to the effect of we're upgrading our system or, or something like that. And then it said so that you can make, and I believe it said better. And then it, it said, quote, Bus business decisions. So their claim was is they were trying to be more transparent with the trips so that the drivers could make better business decisions. Okay, sounds good, right? So, um, before, I'll open up a notepad here. Before, um, before this update, the way it worked was every time you had a base, or any trip, you always got paid 350. So if you had 10 trips, I mean, this should be obvious, but I'll type it out. Then you would make 350 times 10. That's so that's $35 plus the tips, which was, you know, whatever. And now they're saying, uh, according to January 31st, that for those 10 trips, the amount of money you make for base pay is going to be uh, dependent upon uh, several factors, they told me through email, but largely the distance driven, right? Um, so here's the data from my past four days of driving. I haven't driven too much other than a couple days, so um, I actually don't know which screenshots are what. Uh, okay, that's not the right one. Okay, that's one of the days. Sorry, let me pull this up fast. All right, yeah, these are the four days. All right, so the first day is the um, the seven dollar one. Hold on, god damn it. This one, okay. So this was the first day. This was uh, oh, this is on the first. No, I'm tripping. Okay, this was the first day. So you see, I made f this the January thirty uh, first. So this is the first day the new system came out. So um, I made a total of $48.77. I was off the schedule, um, which doesn't really matter for what we're talking about. Uh, and I did six trips. So for the base pay for six trips, typically would have been $21. Bucks. Okay. But since the new update, I got $20.29. So I actually got $20.29. Okay, whatever. Similar enough. Okay, now for the next day, we'll just do this one. Who cares? I did, um, this was yesterday, I did 16 trips, which is a lot. So for 16 trips, I would typically get 56 bucks. Okay, but I actually only got 51.61. Okay. This is, I only did one on that day. I got more than normal. I'd only normally get 350, but you can see here I got 511 because it was a long, long drive really long drive, like ridiculously long drive. Okay. And then the last one, 
um, was today. I haven't actually looked at this one yet. Um, I did 11 trips. Um, 11 trips times 3.5 is $38.50. Thirty-eight fifty, um, but I only actually made from base pay thirty-five seventy-six. Okay, so I'm gonna add all these up, and we'll see what I would have made before the update for doing the same exact thing versus what I make now. So pre-update. I made 119 post update, or I would have made 119. I actually made from base pay 22.9 plus 51.61 plus 5.11 plus 0.76. One, one twelve. Okay, so it's seven. Okay, so I, I that's six bucks and twenty three cents that I didn't make because I would have done the exact same thing, um, which doesn't sound like a lot and it's not. But the, this kind of stuff that I've noticed, I've worked for gig companies for three years. This kind of stuff I notice these gig companies do. This isn't like a one time thing. Like they find more and more ways to continually take from the driver, which is uh, let's make it clear that's what businesses do but the problem is is that these businesses aren't transparent about it in my experience almost ever okay so like the way that gopuff implemented this update they gave the drivers a notification saying that this was so that drivers could see how far it could make a better business decision on whether or not they wanted to take the trip is what that implies um, but one, th another thing is, is you, you don't even have an option to decline the trip. And I'll show you an image of that. If I have one here. Yeah. Here's what it looks like. So this was one of the trips since the new system. You can see, um, this is what it looks like when you get a trip. Okay. It pops up on your screen like this. It tells you the estimated time that it's going to take, and it tells you how many orders it is. Um, so when you click see details, all it shows you the two addresses under this little pane here. Um, and that's no different than it was before this new system. You could always see the two addresses that you were going to go to. Um, so, but the point is, is there's no way to decline the order. So how is this implementation for better business decisions? It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It it's almost feels like they're coercing you into taking less pay. Unless you just want to just, instead of click pick up, just like end your session, and then the, the people inside are going to start talking about you as a driver, that you're just like ending session and just making it harder on them. It's just ridiculous. So I sent them an email asking why there's no decline button, which they didn't give me a straight answer. But... um. Moral of the story is GoPuff is taking more money from us, from you, whatever, and they're not being honest about that being their real aim, I strongly feel, and I feel like a lot of people would strongly agree. So um, that's my rant. I hate these companies sometimes, man, because of this kind of stuff. It's ridiculous. So um, peace.